Okay, g'day folks and welcome to JDM Day. And here we're looking at a Mitsubishi GTO. Very cool. Mitsubishi GTO. And it's got these lovely cool wheels on it. How cool is that? Very nice indeed. Even if it is a Mitsubishi. I mean, there's lots of other cars around too. But I just, I sort of like this. And there's a nice Subarus. And uh, so this side is more the modern side. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I've had a bit of a look around here. And uh, I think we might head to the older side. So, more later.
Okay, you find me in JDM Day, where we're looking at some of the older JDMs, like this Datsun. I think I saw him, well, I think he was at uh, Coffee and Crane last night too. And then we have Mighty, which uh, I think could be a uh, little Daihatsu. Oh, yeah. Which is cool. But it's even got for that sticker on there. How dare you! Which is rather cool. And uh, yeah, move over there. Have a look at this Toyota Celica. And there's his little 1600 power plant. Nice paint job on that. It's a GT too. And of course, here's the barn fine Honda that we've seen at uh, Coffee and Chrome. I see he's added a, uh, a sticker to it, or a badge, Hot Wheels, <laughs> which is cool. But yes, we have we have looked at him before. Ah, and he's even got a little a little model on his battery. How cool! It's very nice. So uh, yeah, as you can see, there's lots of lots of different um, sides over here. I prefer the older type of JDM to the more moderny one, more blingy ones, I should say. But um, yeah, it's me. There's a very cool Pajero too over the other side that we might uh, check out in a minute too. This thing's look very nice, very nice. Oh, that's in 120Y. And here's the old uh, Mitsubishi Pajero, four-wheel drive. It says Pajero. There. And of course, it's a wagon, as they say. What a survivor, eh? Looks in pretty good nick, too. 
and I see they've even got the rear back seats fitted in the parcel thing. And there's all its gauges and everything. So that's just so cool. That is just so cool to see that. Old Pajero, eh? Old Mitsubishi Pajero. And then we've got another relic from the past, a Nissan Patrol. And another four-wheel drive. And uh, he's got the big six-cylinder engine, Nissan six-cylinder engine. And uh, of course this is a patrol, it says, two-seater, or it could be fitted with a three, two or three-seat in the back by the look of it. Almost looks very similar in the dash side of things. But uh, still very, very nice to see. And uh, of course the other side there still looks like he's rocking the uh, original stereo. How cool is that? And then we look at uh, this old Datsun here. Of course they do have a information sheet. 260C Deluxe it says. And uh, yeah, that's what it says on its information sheet as well. So we'll take it as red. <laughs> and uh, a very nice Toyota I think Salika. No, Karuna. And uh, yeah, sort of got the uh, the bit of the Mitsubishi Sigma lights, and same sort of thing as the uh, as the Sigma. <laughs> so uh, very very 80s. And we've got. Uh, a red no Salika and a blue Salika here. Nice one there with his twin cam turbo. And uh, very, very, very cool looking metallical speckly paintwork on this. Very, very nice indeed. Of course it's got a few modern tricks inside. They're different to what it was originally, but how cool, how cool is that? Well, as you can see, there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots there, including this little Honda, which um, looks very much like a, uh, a certain Rover uh, model that they uh, brought out to Australia, which was actually a Honda, but badged as um, a Rover. And uh, yeah, how cool is that? Even got an alien inside. But uh, yeah, I think uh, these were similar to um, the Rover, what was it, four, 416i or something that we had here in Australia for a while. I have spotted one or two of them, a bit rare, but um, yeah, there's still a few around. And then when I see one of these, I immediately think Rover anyway. But it's nice to see one with the Honda, and it has got Honda on its wheel as well. Very cool. And here we have a Nissan Exa. Who remembers those? Actually, there's one, two, two of them here. Little two or very small back seat people um, not a lot of room in there I think the uh, the back seat was just put in there as as a bit of a token gesture as they say but uh, yeah so it this is must have been at the time when they were Nissan because it's got Nissan Pulsar Exa and down there it's still got the Datsun nameplate so it must have been in that uh, era when Datsun Nissan was still 
Well, they were still using the Datsun name. And of course, the little poppy up headlights. As you can see guys, there's uh, quite a lot there, including this little Honda. Another Corona. Quite a few cars anyway, as I said, which is always nice to see. And JDM Day is one of the biggest um, car events down here at Cornell of the year. And uh, yeah, it's always nice to see some of these uh, older, older Japanese ones. And uh, you know, see whether people have kept them original or given them a, a lick of paint and a few other mods to them. So uh, yeah, we just keep. Uh, wandering along and having a look even this little Corolla because he's got the modern twin cam twin cam engine in there which would uh, certainly make him go a little bit more but uh, yeah I've taken a whole lot of photos as well or still so uh, it's been a been a, a hectic sort of a day. Paintwork on this one is absolutely gorgeous. That's lovely. I do like that. And uh, the one next to it is just a little bit more browner uh, to that one, but still gorgeous too. So uh, yeah, as you can see, there's quite a quite a lot here to see. In fact, you get a bit overwhelmed at times. You know, um, you see something and then you yeah. jump around and you see something else. And 